Am I going to rant? Um, I'm going to rant quite a bit, yes. As you may or may not be aware, the BBC have changed their logo and it looks like this now. No, it is different. No, it used to look like this, but now it's like this. Old one, new one. Yeah, it's incredibly subtle. So you can probably see why the uh, general public have gone a little bit uh, ranty about this. And I'm just I'm going to pile in. Well, I'm not going to pile in, but I'm going to certainly give my reflections on this. Um, it's possibly not a waste of money. Um, the BBC have numerous graphic designers in-house. I can't believe this has gone to an agency. Uh, and they're not disclosing that it has. They're not going to tell you how much it's cost. Now, we have got a different typeface. And <laughs> I certainly have a, a theory as to why they've changed the typeface. They almost had to. Uh, and you might not know this, um, but the typeface um, is designed by someone called Eric Gill. And there are two statues designed by Eric Gill as well, stuck on the outside of Broadcasting House. Now, if you look into that, you'll, you'll find out why people are asking for those statues to be pulled down. But if they're not being pulled down, because the BBC aren't going to do that, the ne next thing they could do is not use a typeface that he designed to be connected with that establishment. So I think I think that's why that's happened. But I think the whole fundamental reason for the whole change of this is, is all the extra things that BBC do, like iPlayer and Bite Size. All those little sub brands, as we probably call them, aren't that coherent underneath the umbrella brand. Let's have a look at what's happened. So they've got, um, so what iPlayer is now, it now used to be this. Uh, Bite Size used to be this. Uh, sounds used to be this. Sport used to be this. And Weather used to be like this. What I'm going to point out here is that all the, uh, the sub brands before had the three letters and had the BBC in them. So it doesn't matter how disjointed each individual sub brand looked, they were joined together by the three squares with a BBC in them. So in respect, that's coherent. Clearly the brief here was, if you had to get rid of the BBC logo on all those sub-brands, how do we make it even more coherent? Um, now to me, this is uh, qu quite a simple, almost A-level design project that your lecturer would bring in saying, right, this week um, we got this brand, it's this, um, now what we want you to do, we want to come up with some logos and some icons that only involve three rectangles and see what you can do with those rectangles to try and sum up all the other sub-brands. Um, has it been achieved? That's primarily what this rant is about. Has that, if, if, if the, my students came back to me and say, here you are, sir, we've, we've done it. We've, we've got three rectangles and they're all, they're all doing things. So the iPlayer, look, it's, it, we've put them together and it's got the, the play button. I'm going, yeah. Good. Look at the bite size, sir. It's 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 like three books because like that's how you learn. Yep, I'll give you that. Now here we have the problem. Sport. Is that a gun? Is it a sports rattle? I, I don't know. Um, the only thing I think it could be is 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 first, second, and third. I would say back to my students. You know, there's already an established icon for one two and three in sports it's it's the podium the gold's in the middle the silver's to the right the bronze is to the left and they're different sizes maybe use something that we already established rather than something that we go what's that and weather now the old logo was a sun and and as we all know a sun is usually represented by yellow and if those blue things are rain droplets that would make more sense the big thing here is if all the sub brands use three rectangles, why doesn't the umbrella brand? All the work's been done on the sub branding, yet they didn't change the umbrella brand. Well, you can't do that. No, you can. If you really want this project to be coherent, you'd have three rectangles as the umbrella brand as well. Um, but then some are going, yeah, but it doesn't the BBC three logo? Isn't that three rectangles? So I think it's it's a good exercise. It kind of doesn't work. It's a bit botched. All I can say is, uh, nice try. Um, you've got another two weeks. I'll come back and do it better. Oh, come on!